How about some sound? How about an overlay? Introducing our players here in the bottom right in pink from Lucky 13. It's our Zerg player, Kowali. And his opponent in the top left in red, recent diamond uh, initiate, I suppose you could say, from Team Bears Loss. It is Matt the Cat. Alrighty. So, best of three series are always enjoyable, I think, a lot more so than a. Uh, a lot of the uh, kind of best of ones you see a lot of times when CTL. Now, this is kind of CTL related. At the very least, obviously, these players are are coming from the CTL, so they're all really, really accustomed to doing best of ones. Of course, everybody on ladder always plays best of ones, so it's not if you get to play a best of three. Uh, so you get to actually have a little, more, little bit more thought into what you're doing uh, with your builds, uh, with your just kind of general play style throughout a series compared to just, oh, there's one game. What do I do for one game? But... Uh, Already? Kind of... Well, okay, I was a little bit concerned. That, that overload seems like it took for absolutely forever to get out, but I suppose that was normal. I'm not sure Quali happened to miss uh, his... his. Because normally, don't you make the gas after you make the overload and then you make the extra drone and then cancel? I think he did that before he actually made the overload, uh, which is generally uh, not what I see, but... Matt's cat is going to be going for a forge, and this is a very large amount of space back here behind this natural. If he wanted to do a cannon rush, and he may do that. His probe is kind of dancing around. Probably just going to sit around, be annoying, at least deny this hatchery coming up. But it's not going to be a hatchery necessarily, because, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a pool. The pool is already up, so uh, any sort of cannon rush is going to be difficult to get up. And I think Wally may even just kill the probe in the first place and not even worry about a cannon rush. Uh, the probe is very low on health, and there it does go down, so any thoughts of a Ken Rush are not going to happen now for Matt, and he is, he's definitely going ahead and going to expand himself behind this and uh, just have the optional safe benefit of having this uh, forge finish so he can add a cannon in uh, very, very quickly. So, always early game is kind of the same sort of things over and over and over, but, you know, those little deviations are always interesting to see. It's like, when, you, when do you take gas? Uh, as both players, especially in this matchup, uh, especially now in HOTS, kind of seeing what you have to see with a lot of gateway expands, and it's really kind of dangerous to go gasless expand sometimes, but with the pool first, Kowali's going to be nice and safe. Getting that first queen out uh, hasn't made any links just yet. Uh, no real need to, realizing that he killed that original probe. He's, he's going to be pretty safe, uh, unless Matt the Cat had you know, brought over a, a couple more probes or something for some massive cannon rush or any other sort of proxy shenanigans that would already be hitting, uh, there's, there's no really need for any uh, really early ling. So he went ahead and got the queen. I got some more drones out before he started these first two lings that are finished now and going to be running about the map. Meanwhile, back home here in Matt the Cat's base, nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary. Double gas is coming in. Gateway finishing up. Cybercorp we started here in a moment. Uh, decent wall here. Um, New maps are always kind of it's always kind of interesting to deal with new maps. And actually, this this overlord is going to get just completely killed. I'm pretty sure that Canada is going to kill this overlord. So that's a little bit of an upsetting uh, start. Oh, good lord! That, how did that get away? How did that get away? That's unbelievable. I honestly was expecting that to die. Uh, the way you know overlords are really fat and slow. Quali going for this. Actually, it's a really fast third base. Uh, he did get a gas uh, pretty much right after or during getting this hatchery. That's still, that's always a dangerous thing to do, and not to mention the fact that it's extremely close to your opponent. Uh, there is no space at all until you're at your opponent's base, so even without a proxy pylon, Matt the Cat could put on a lot of pressure with some early gateways, but he is actually going to be going for this Stargate, and the way you count a Stargate, you, you, you expand and you build a shit ton of drones. So, um, that's going to be one happy quality once he is able to get in and scout, but there is still the opportunity for something like an Oracle to get in unscouted and be extremely annoying, uh, just killing off a bunch of drones before quality is able to really react to it. As well, Mazacat has a drone out on the map. Looks like it's going to be adding a proxy pylon up here pretty soon. So there may just be some sort of kind of a... he's wanting to pressure... Uh, so with some early gateway units as well as his uh, Stargate units, whatever he does decide to make out of this, whether it's going to be Void Rays, uh, what else do they have you? Void Rays, what else? Let me think. There we go, Phoenix. That's the word I was looking for before it just popped up there. So he's going to be going for Phoenix. I guess the question now is, are you going to show these Phoenix immediately or are you going to wait for a few before you actually go out on the map and let them let those be known? And actually, these links seeing 
that drone where they saw it should know that something is over there, but it's not really gonna matter, because, uh, hey. Oh, good lord. That would be my neighbor's dogs. They're very loud. Oh, this overlord is all of four hexes away from seeing this pylon, and he's he's turned, and he's not going to go the right direction for it. So that pylon is going to survive for a little bit longer. Matt the Cat trying to hide his, his phoenix for a little bit longer, but uh, it is going to be found out by this overlord, but it's still going to get at least one overlord kill. Kuali immediately throwing his overlords back to the base. But come on, boys, we gotta we gotta we gotta be protected. Right, getting a bunch of spore cars. Actually, two spore cars in each base. It seems. Uh, there you go. Second spore car at the natural. So two spore crawlers in each of the bases. And yeah, that's about it. He's going to be able to defend pretty easily with that. Uh, this Phoenix count is just going to continually rise up for a little while here. Uh, but with all the spore crawlers already set and in place, all that Panther Cat's going to be able to do, be able to do with these early Phoenix is uh, harass some overlords, maybe poke in and try to scout. Uh, getting anything really beyond that is going to be a little bit difficult. Maybe transitioning into a robo here after this. Uh, he just wants to, seems to, seems to just wants to clear up all of the overlords that are on the map, but I'm not so concerned. I don't think, yeah, no. Matt hasn't actually seen this third base at all. Hasn't seen the natural even. He is completely blind at the moment. Uh, it's kind of the price you pay for uh, going the Stargate style, but even letting these Phoenix be seen by that first overlord, uh, it's a little bit difficult for any for anything really to happen, scouting-wise, because uh, now there's a bunch of spore cars all over the place. Uh, a couple of roaches. What are you doing, roaches? Roaches, I don't think you should be over there. It's probably not where you want to be. <laughs> there is a mushroom core here that's going to be nice and handy, pushing that away, and Phoenix getting shooed away by all uh, these two spore cars. Nothing else has died just yet, and looks like Matt's gonna, you know, he's, well, he's continuing with the Phoenix production, he's up to five now, but now he's switching in the mortals upon seeing the roaches out that are out on the field already, but uh, Koala just content to go ahead and continue droning up here. Both players sitting at 50 workers apiece, and eventually Matt would probably hope to expand, given how few gateways he's actually on right now, only on the three, four gateways right now, uh, with the one robo facility. Uh, he's going to try to make an attack here with these Zealots, but they don't have any sort of upgrades. Plus one is a little bit ways away still. Uh, Phoenix are going to at least <laughs> give them a little attack notification while the Zealots roll in, but the Zealots are going to try to focus on a Queen, and uh, Queen can just kind of run away from that for a very long time and wait for the Roaches to come back. But nice enough, my Matt, picking up the Roaches that were trying to reinforce and help out the Queen back here, but uh, now the Queen is just playing Ring Around the Rosie for a little while. Oh, the, oh, oh, oh going to get caught. Nope, just, just squeaks out of there a little bit. If that actually been paid attention to those zealots, he probably would have been able to pick up that queen. As it stands, Kuala is going to clean up these zealots pretty easily here. Nicely microing back the hurt roach, so that nothing, nothing really lost there for uh, Koala. He's still only lost the original three overlords he lost to these Phoenix, so uh, well done from him. And now he knows this, this proxy pylon is here. He's going to go scout that out uh, eventually, I would assume. Or he's just going to let it sit there for a while. And Matt the Cat is going to have to expand, but uh, this guy just is coming up pretty late. Adding on another four gateways, adding on this uh, Robo Bay, uh, but the Spire is already on the way. Not the Eagle Chamber on the way as well as the Hydroden, wherever that Hydroden went. Where did you go, Hydroden? Oh, you're right there. What am I talking about? I thought it was building still. So the Colossus transition is very real, and it's going to happen, but the Spire is also already on the way, so it uh, should not be too much of an issue for Kowali to deal with. As soon as he has the information that he wants to have in regards to the composition that Matt the Cat is going to be going for, uh, he's going to be able to counter that pretty easily. Checking upgrades right now. It's just plus one attack for our Protoss player. Speed for the Roaches and Hiders both are finished. Plus one, plus one, well, plus one attack is just about to finish. Plus one carapace is fairly far behind. Uh, plus one attack did just finish up there for those range units, and he is starting on plus two. Uh, so Roach is going to pop in here to his base, and there's nothing actually over here to defend the base. That's going to have to be canceled, so that's a nice small little victory there for Koali, and actually almost catching off some of these uh, some of these Phoenix. Sitting in the middle of that, Phoenix, what are you doing? You should probably get out of there. Yeah, you go ahead and walk out of there. And again, Matt really, really, really needs to secure this third base sometime soon because uh, the longer this game goes on, uh, it's just going to get just kind of spiraling out of control in terms of composition, uh, power, and, so and, the, and the like. First Colossus, meanwhile, is finished here. 
which is nice. Range will be finishing up too pretty soon. Second Colossus will be joining this little composition. Along with these Phoenixes, uh, the few amount of Corruptors that will be out, what we have, we have zero Corruptors right now, but he's about to finish this first one. Uh, I guess he got a little bit of a supply block there, or he just ran out of gas completely, it seems is more like the case. Uh, trying to take his fourth base, and good god, Koali, he does not care about taking these tucked in bases. Okay, there he goes. He's going to take this base, but I think it's a kinda, that's almost like a macro hatchery. Uh, I think his real base is going to be up here, uh, which is absolutely insane, but there isn't too much of an army here, and he's going to push in for this engagement, but decent force field splitting, but good chunk of the army with three Colossus now. Uh, even the height of the Phoenix could pick up some of these units. That is not going to be the case, and Kind of a poor decision there from, from Kowali. He's losing more and more of his units. Not too much that actually shoots up in the air for Matt the Cat, so he's not going to be able to deal with the Corruptors too, too well. Uh, the Phoenix are there, but uh, beyond that, he doesn't have too many uh, Stalkers or anything to deal with it. <coughs> Dark Shrine on the way, Enduring Locus Upgrade is being researched. Uh, looks like a second layer is being created here. There it goes, it guys get cancelled. And the Hive is actually on the way, which is what he wanted to have, uh, rather, uh, rather than that second layer. That is a ton of links that just got made, uh, which is interesting, considering how many Colossus he just saw. I think he may have been afraid of an instant counterattack, uh, and realized he wanted to have some units come out, uh, or something in that regard, because uh, there wasn't really much of an issue uh, at the time for him needing to put out that many links. He still hasn't caught wind of this pylon over here, which is nice for Matt. He's going to be able to warp in. Yeah, as he said, he warps in two DTs there. And he's going to find this base and probably take that out pretty easily. Uh, I know there's an, one, at least one Overseer somewhere. No, there is no Overseer on the map, so uh, these DTs just got to roll in. Uh, however, that overlapping tech, that overlapping tech, there are already spore crawlers made, uh, so these DTs aren't going to be able to do too much. As they come into the range, a couple of just do take shots at them, but not really doing much. Uh, one DT running away from all of that action. Uh, going for a queen, but I think yeah, the queen ended up actually killing that off, which is nice. DT running over to this kind of fourth, third and a half, something sort of number base. Taking a few workers, which is nice. He's going to get f uh, three worker kills, and he started to get a fourth one, but uh, now these are turning into spore calls, but those are going to get killed, because DTs with only have plus one, so uh, it takes them a while to kill much. Overseer's right here to save the day, and now he should... Okay, he still hasn't seen the fact that... that surely he knows that there's a pylon somewhere around here, right? Yeah, he's looking for it now. He's trying to look for it, but a couple more DTs being warped in up on the high ground. Uh, but these overseers are here, so Kowali sees that and should react and re accordingly and go kill off of those DTs before they do any more damage. Nice wall here over at the third base for Matt the Cat. Just making sure he's going to stay nice and safe for any sort of Ling revives. There were a good handful of Lings, but if they want to get in, they're going to have to go through, well, right now they're going to have to go through the entire army as well as these four cannons protecting this third base. Uh, however, there are five bases on the map now for our Zerg player. He's at 190 supply, and he's going to start trading pretty soon. That is a good number of Corruptors. Uh, he is sitting on 14 Corruptors right now to those six Colossus. Uh, so he's going to be pretty happy about that. Uh, do they have any upgrades? They do not have any upgrades just yet for his heir. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit to chew through the Colossus, but uh, with that number, uh, with the Corruption, and with a decent Focus Fire... Uh, those, those Colossus should die pretty quickly. And again, just Matt the Cat is so low on anti-air. Uh, he's got, what is this, six Stalkers right now? He's got a Void Ray and some Phoenix, but that's not really going to cut it against the mass amount of Corruptors that Koali does happen to have. Uh, he's going to try to force this engagement here a little bit. Uh, Corruptors going in on top of those Phoenix, trying to get some shots off, actually just taking care of what he can prior to bringing his ground army. Knight of Ground Army is swinging in here. Uh, Colossus doing a lot of damage already before anything actually gets in on top of this army. Uh, really, the ground army is doing absolutely nothing but, again, just a lack of anti-air for Matt the Cat. Uh, he's got a ton of Colossus, which is nice, but he can't do anything about the Corruptors. Uh, the Corruptors are just having, they have free reign. One Colossus is going to go down. Another Colossus has Corruption on it. There goes the second Colossus here in a moment. Oh, he's just going to back off, it seems. Uh, Koali needing to back off. Uh, that was a decent trade there for Matt Cat. He kept alive most of his army. He did lose all of his Phoenix, I do believe. Uh, yes, he lost all the Phoenix. He lost the Voidage. So the air army is gone, which is nice. Uh, but now Koali has to find a way to defend against this massive army that is coming his way. The army supplies are even, but a lot of that is in the 20 roaches that are being built currently. Uh, Matt the Cat is going to put himself in a nice position and try to deal with this, but now his army is kind of split up. He's going to lose a good chunk of his army. Oh, you can't lose those high gas count units this easily. One immortal about to go down. A bunch of centuries went down too, but still five Colossus remain. 
Eye of Colossus are really, really powerful. Actually, those Corruptors are turning into Broodlords, no less. Uh, I guess that could be okay, but are they actually going to be useful in time? Because this base is getting killed off. Uh, that's another base that has died here. Uh, and now with just basically f five Broodlords to defend against this army that is coming in, there are a good number of Roaches. They do have plus two, plus one, but uh, this ground army has plus two, plus one. with a lot of Roaches trying to get right on top of those Colossus. They do just that. One Colossus goes down immediately. A second one goes down pretty quickly right after that. And a third one, looks like the fourth and fifth are going to go down as well. Almost all of the Colossus are down, but now we have a lot of Stalkers left over. The Broodlords have died off as well, and Koala is going to call GG there. Matt the Cat is going to take game number one of this set. Oh 